High School. I'm Bailey. And I'm Jordan. Today is October 1st. And these are your announcements. Go Lions! Johnston's representative is going to be on campus on October 2nd and October 3rd from 1020 a.m. to 11 a.m. He's either going to take your $50 deposit or you can pay in full and receive your graduation supplies. If you have any questions, go to room 920 and see Ms. Kim. Now on to our new hot sauce segment with, with Matt. Welcome to our version of it's actually hot wings. I'm at, I'm Madden. I'm Isaac. I'm Coach Williams. And I'm Mr. Schatz. I want to go ahead and give full credit to the Hot Ones YouTube channel and YouTube series for this. All money will be given to you, <laughs> even though we don't make it. Let's begin. <laughs> this is the lowest ranking sauce, number one. It is just Hot Ones Buffalo hot sauce, you know? Not so bad, so. And after each time we try a hot sauce, we're gonna be answering a question, and each one gets, I guess, hotter per one more difficult to answer. Uh, but that's good. Not bad. I'm going to go ahead and say just based off of that one, I'm, I'm done for. <laughs> it's going to be a bad time for me. What is the most useless piece of information you know? I got something if you guys know. All right, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah. Denver is known for their mountain. Because it's like the mile high or whatever. Mm -hmm. In 7U soccer at Gulf Shores, you cannot cross the build-out line if you want to score. You have to do it before you cross. Okay. Actually, I worded that wrong. Well, you know. Okay, the ones that my kids did not know this week for our project. Um, penguins can also be set found in South Africa. I don't know. Uh, everything <laughs> I know is so useful. <laughs> it's not, um, how about Rutgers played the first college football game? Does that work? Yeah, that, yeah, that works. works perfect. To perfect. Perfect. All right. Time for sauce number two. This is um, ginger goat. It's like a tropical flavor. It's got like mango, lemongrass, other fun stuff. That's, that's good. Mm. Okay. You can definitely taste the lemongrass. Yeah, for sure. What is? <laughs> what's your number one memory in your whole life? Probably my son being born. Being an alumni from here, I got to be coached here by my dad, and my mom was a teacher here. Cool. So that's number one memory for me, getting to work with my parents. That's cool. I don't have any good memories. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, Not the hot sauce. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> no, I was going to say, it could be this moment right here. This could be your number I'd one say, nah, I'd say it's related to the school. I'd say whenever I did Elf Junior. That was a fun time. Yeah, I really nice. love that show. I would say uh, coming to Foley. Uh, it's best school in Bowden County. Very welcoming and everything. So. Garlic Reaper sauce. We're already oh, getting into the Reapers. Garlic Reaper. God, okay. Is it too late to start praying? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Oh, that's good, though. Yeah. Got the garlic. Bad. It's got garlic. It's got the reaper. What is your biggest fail moment while playing a sport? I know mine. High school football. <laughs> yeah, I got mine. High school football, long snapper, kickoff return. Uh, first okay. time playing it, ran down the field for kickoff. <laughs> didn't didn't think about getting ear hold by an outside linebacker. Got knocked out on the field. Um, so mine came as a, as a, an adult. Um, the previous school I was at before Foley, we were having a student faculty basketball game. I'm going down the court. We end up uh, passing somebody, they shoot. We're going for the ball, we're in like a tussle. And uh, one of the kids gets the ball, takes off down the court, we're running down the court. And I just happen to look at my hand and my pinky is like sticking out to the side. Ooh. <laughs> so okay. uh, yeah, it was a big fail. We ended up getting it popped back and then now I got a plate in my hand. So. That was a fun time. I heard my worst sports memory was uh, freshman year football. When, uh, <laughs> Logan Jolenbeck pancaked me. Uh, yeah. That, that uh, hurt. My worst mo sports moment uh, was. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Uh, completely whiffing in tennis, in sectionals, really when I needed that point and just lost the match completely. <laughs> the fat cat. Chairman <laughs> Meow's Revenge. Also, I forgot to mention, the hottest pepper I've ever tasted was a jalapeno. <laughs> so, this is not good. And it wasn't even a fresh jalapeno. No, yeah. it was from Arby's. <laughs> so, that's that's where I'm at right now. I'm not crying for right, you. Ready? Crying yeah. some sad. Go. Okay. All right, who is your celebrity twin or celebrity crush? I wish I have to say uh, Jennifer Aniston. Okay. For sure. Yeah. Uh, when I was younger, I got called on, like, John Parker Wilson. He was the quarterback for Alabama at the time. You got one? Oh, yeah, I know mine. Because kids say it all the time. Conor McGregor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Conor McGregor? Yeah, yeah. I get that one all the time. Okay. I get that one all the time. You gotta go. Who's the crush, too? Oh, so uh, my crush. wife already knows this. Emma Stone. Okay. Right. Any s specific Emma Stone movie? Easy A. Alright, you alright, big man? Megan, oh. the, or, no, not Megan the Stone. Uh, what's her name? 
Megan Fox from Transformers. <laughs> Megan Fox from Transformers, bro. She was bad. And uh, I get Robert Kramer from uh, Seinfeld. Okay. Nick yeah. Kramer. Or Weird Al. Weird Al. Oh, weird out. I can't see that we're gonna help. Guys, I'm shaking a little. I can't lie. Oh my gosh, she's sweating. I'm stuttering too. Woo. Um, twins. I say uh, Lord Farquaad. Um, <laughs> and then Crush. Oh my gosh. Gosh. I don't really have a celebrity crush. What if I did? Sydney Swain. Well, that's all we have for the first episode <laughs> for y'all. Very grateful for y'all being here with us. But all we have, y'all have any other closing statements? Catch us uh, for the next three painful ones. Yeah, you're gonna be in for some fun. Yeah, I, I've smelled of these things. <laughs> I'm not gonna smell spicy. Anyway, well, that's all we got for your grub guy today, guys. Gosh, can't talk. <laughs> have a great day, Foley, and go Lions. Hey, Foley High School. I'm Mrs. Parker. I'm Mrs. Messick. I'm Coach Hill. And we are the advisors for FBLA. We have our next meeting, our first meeting next Thursday. October 3rd. In my room, 307. Be there or be square. Now on to Rosie with more information on Silent Sky. Hey, Blue Ones. Today I'm here with Mr. Wayne. He is our director of our upcoming theater production, Silent Sky. Can you tell me why you chose this production? Yeah, I've actually wanted to direct this play for a few years now. Um, but I just, you know, trying to figure out when was the right time to do it, when did I think I was ready, when did I think the students in my program are ready, and I just think that right now is a great time to tell this story. Um, it's a cast of five, but there are some things that, you know, so it's, and it's a small set, but one of the big things is having a star field that is ever present throughout the whole show, and that's always kind of, made me hesitant about doing yeah. this show because I'm like, how are we going to have stars? Um, but thankfully, our art department has helped us figure out a way to do that, and they have put together over 30 paper lanterns that are going to be used in the background as our stars for the production. Okay, and I know this must be very hard to produce, so can you tell me a little bit about your directing process? Yeah, so um, obviously this play is set in the early 1900s, which of course many of my students weren't even born, you know, and they were born in the 2000s, so we're even farther removed from the, from the 1900s. Um, and so that's always a, a, a task, a hard task of getting the students acclimated to, you know, being of that historical time period. They have to wear things like corsets and uncomfortable shoes and long skirts. Um, also, they're all scientists, they're all astronomers, and they had to figure out, you know, what some of the things that these characters are talking about. And so that's, that's the important thing to me. You know, my approach is always a very actor-centered approach. If the actors don't know what's going on, if the actors aren't invested in the story, invested in the world, then how's the audience going to be? So it's all about telling a story and creating a world on stage. That's the most important things to me as a director. Mm -hmm. Actually, can you tell me a little bit about your actors? Yes, of course. So we have a cast of five, which is awesome because you know I get to know them a little bit better. Mm -hmm. They get to know each other a little bit better. It's like a nice little family that they've sort of developed for themselves despite it being a really fast rehearsal process. Mm -hmm. um, our two seniors in the show are Tania Prim and Xander Van Den Neuenhoff. And as seniors, these two are fine examples of leaders. Um, Tanaya's role requires a lot of strength, it requires a lot of confidence, and she does that beautifully. And then Xander's uh, role of Peter, um, you know, he's funny, he's at times very rude, his character, not Xander, um, and he does a wonderful job of, of making this character as real as it possibly can be. Obviously, Addison Newkirk, who's a junior, she is our leading lady, if you, if you want to say that, um, because even though it's an ensemble show, but she's on stage the entire show, and so it is a huge task for any high schooler, and I think that she's doing a tremendous job of putting in the work and the time that's needed to carry out that role. Um, Addie Beeman, who's a junior, she is so funny and so feisty as the character of Wilhelmina, and then we have um, Allison Funderburg, who's just a 10th grader, and she is doing a marvelous job of, of bringing a lot of strength and a lot of um, emotion to the role of uh, Henrietta's sister, Margaret. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you for this. Make sure to come see the play. Oh yes, come see us October 7th through the night. Mm -hmm. Time for your locker room report. What's up guys, I'm here with your locker room report. Good luck to your Lady Lions flag football team as they face Enterprise and Robertsdale tomorrow night at home. Now on to weather. What's up guys, it's me Pete. I'm back here with your weather. I'm sorry I missed last week. I had uh, to take hurricane precautions, so I'm really sorry guys. But this week, it's pretty, pretty chill outside. 88's your high today, 70's your low. I'll see you guys Thursday. Anniversary, first and foremost. No, she didn't. Then she forgot that the Creative Writing Club has officially started to take poetry, art, and short submissions for their annual magazine. Well, I'm so sorry. I can't remember every little thing. And how did it make you feel if she forgot that? Terrible. It feels like she's never emotionally available. If she really cared about me, she would have remembered that the deadline for the submissions is December 2nd, and that there's generous prizes for the top three entries in each category. I'm only human. I even left the QR code and link for submissions on her desk. In the same QR code that's posted on Mr. Key's door in room 801, but all she did was, did was ignore it. Sign up here. Cheers, Amy. <laughs> Would you rather get paid to go to school or never go to school again? Never go to school again. Would you rather be able to fly or be able to teleport? Teleport. Okay. <laughs> Detect every lie you hear or get away with every lie you tell. Probably detect every liar here because I feel like there's a lot and y'all aren't sneaky. Um, for me, it's every lie I tell, you know. Erase your worst memory or live your best one. Relive my best one. Stuck in an endless day or an eternal night. Endless day, for sure. Okay. Gonna be uh you're gonna be piloting today yeah yes you are it's gonna be a good time yes all right what about you you ready to go yep excited for it yep gonna do some serious flying yeah all right Okay, stop. Okay, so looking at the fuel, there's three things that we're looking for, okay? Number one, what color does that look like to you? Blue. Good, and, and so the, the fuel is dyed blue for two reasons. One, so we can tell what type of fuel it is and it's the right fuel for this. Two, like if we have a leak or something, like coming from, like say this were kept dripping and whatnot, and the fuel would come back here as we were flying, it would dry here, right? And the and the the, uh, the dye would stay, so you'd see a blue streak there. So we're like, ah, oh, all right, we got a fuel leak. Okay, so that's the first thing you're looking for. The second thing you're looking for is to see if there's any floaties, any like any garbage in there, any you know specks of gunk. And I don't see any. The third thing we're looking for is uh, is any water in the fuel. So like you ever seen like a old World War II movie where a ship goes down and you know right and and what happens, the oil floats on the top, right? Because the, the oil and the fuel is less dense than the water. So the water is much, much more dense, right? So if we had water, it would look like a little bubble down here. And I don't see that, so we're good.
360. Your head's going to, but did you have fun? I did. Okay. What was the best part of it? I heard you should eat gum. Oh, you should chew gum. Uh, I think the turning. Turning? Yeah. So, would you recommend the other cadets go do this? Yes. Of course. All right, great. Yeah? Good times? <laughs> all right. That's all for today, Foley High School. Have a great day and go Lions. To recite the Foley High School Creed, I am a Foley Lion. I will stand for honor, integrity, and pride. I will serve with strength and courage. I will own the path to my future. I will hold myself to a higher standard. I will strive for excellence in all I do. This is my oath. This is my pledge. I am a Foley Lion.